Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Red Orchestra 2. I just decided I wanted to play some games that I used to play back in the day and haven't played for a little bit. And this is definitely one of them. I may be a little out of practice because, well, it's been a while. I've also turned on a uh, new feature that they did not have last time, which is called War Movie Post-Processing. I don't know if that's going to make it look better or worse, but we will find out. Now, if you don't remember what this game is about, it's all about uh, tactical realism. It's about making proper movements. It's about using cover. It's not about going Rambo. It's about you dying a lot. Or me dying a lot, anyways. Oh, look at that. Oh! oh. oh. And it's just an absolutely fun game, in my personal opinion. If you don't... Oh, I'm in a bad place. That's right. I just exploded. If you don't like the uh, realism portion of it, they may not be for you. It's not fast-paced action. A lot. There is a lot of staying in cover, staying in the buildings. not something that you can just jump into and expect to be top gun immediately. That one's down. Oh! No! My head! I like that head. I want it back. All right. So basically the entire point of this game is to capture and defend places. And the way you do that is you have more people on the point than the enemy. And every gunshot that you hear, even in the distance, is purely from people shooting. Now, there is no ambient noises. Which makes it really interesting because you can actually kind of judge where people are and go towards them just based on sound. It's very fun. And there is so much lean mechanics in this game it makes me so happy. Why more FPS games don't use lean is beyond me. Why? On your team, Dingus. And yes, there is most definitely friendly fire because... This is war. This is not a Sissy Nancy game where you get to just run around and shoot your friends and not worry about it. Take a little cover here. But I'm bleeding. I need the bandage. There we go. Oh, and then I get shot in the ass. I'm dying. I'm dying. There's no way to die. <laughs> yeah, right in front of the church, up right outside the window. Stay 
alive, squad leader, so I can spawn upon you. I'm dead. The Germans are winning. We must push and get back to our spot. Killed by Dr. Kevorkian. <laughs> it makes me wonder how many people of this era even know who Dr. Kevorkian was. Couldn't get a good angle. Suppression in this game works really interestingly. Not only does it fade your uh, the color, so it kind of goes black and white. Everything kind of goes fuzzy, but your gun just starts bouncing all over the place because obviously you know, it's not that easy to shoot when you're being exploded. Ooh. That's coming from. I just can't see him. Wow. Enemy infantry. Get off the cover. Thank you. Fence, probably not the best cover I could use, but... Watch out! Oh. I was hoping to get to that crater so I could patch myself up, but... No! 
Did I get him? Apparently not. I got him! He's suppressed! He's suppressed, brother! Help me! I got him. Nice. Cover! What? Why? Sorry, man. I'm not sure what happened to Mike and Let's see if I can do a little flank in here. So I have, uh, I guess I don't have any reloading. Wee! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta love those unreal physics. They just don't quite work. Reload, thank you. Sorry, sorry. I thought that was where we had to take, but apparently not. You are leaving the comp. 
Oh god, they freaking pushed us up! No! I'm working on it! Oh, ha, ha. Ooh. Chunky. moving out there anymore <laughs> Get Get oh that was just a kill assist dude hey poke your head up reloading hurry 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 <laughs> They're attacking. No.
lose. Oh, we did win. I'll be damned. <laughs> How bad did I do? I did terribly. Wow. <laughs> 141 kills? Holy crap. Well, thank you very much for watching.